Fresh from the 2022 Summer NAMM Show, we have the first of several Taylor Limited Editions that are coming out we're going to tell you about today. This is the 8017E Red Top. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our spring store link below for custom shirts. You can buy stuff from us as well. And check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. Cooper, why am I holding a red-topped guitar? Because I think what happened was Andy Powers was like, we're going to do it 8017E, but I want you all to make it with like a redwood top. And, and he didn't would, say sinker. And they were like, okay, we can yeah. do that. <laughs> That's what they did. Uh, very cool looking guitar. So if you're not familiar, the American Dream series has had in it the 8017E and a black top version, which has actually been really, really popular. I, correct me if I'm wrong. We sell more black top than natural top ones. True. So very cool aesthetic that people are liking that satin finish, the black top with the exposed back and sides. So Taylor has kind of done a riff on that with this guitar, it's red, but it's stained. Yeah. So it's transparent. You can see through to the grain of the spruce top, which is nice. I actually will tell you why I like that in a bit. And then the back and sides on this are different than what the current 8017E is, right? Because they've gone to walnut? I think that, well, I know the black top is walnut. Yeah. And I thought that the regular 8017 was urban ash. Yeah, could be. And so we got Everything keeps call. changing so much, yeah, yeah. it's hard to keep up. They're all th good. This That's, is Ovuncle, yeah, yeah. which I think does not get enough recognition. I find Ovuncle to have these beautiful hues, chocolatey and orange hues and stuff. It sounds a lot like Rosewood with more mid-range. Um, and it just people need people are sleeping on Ovuncle, honestly. And I think this guitar, after playing it, I pick up all of those things that yeah. I like about Ovuncle. So. And the cool thing is... American Dream, all solid wood, especially on this one. Like that looks like the type of wood that you might see at this price range in like a veneer kind of or right. laminate or something. But this is all solid oven call, solid Sitka spruce top. So I mean, the construction is there, but it's just kind of a little kicked up, cool version. You know? If you're not familiar with the American Dream series and what they're doing with the 8017s in general, let's talk about some of the features on here. So as Cooper said, it's all solid wood construction, solid top, back, and sides. Spruce, oven call. You've got chamfered edges um, with no binding. So it's extremely comfortable having the, these rounded edges on the guitar. And then they do this kind of reveal binding, which is particularly effective with the stained top. Yeah. You know, it's, it's noticeable with the black top, um, but it's really, all, I, 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 it almost seems more noticeable on this yeah. because you've got that purfling yeah. and then the exposed wood, uh, similar to what PRS has done for years with the exposed yeah. edge treatment on a lot of their colors. Um, the, the fretboard and the bridge are smoked eucalyptus instead of ebony. Um, it's an interesting choice. It looks good. It feels good. It wears well. It's easy to work with. So Taylor's like, yeah, why not? Yeah. Um, and then these, with the, the GP body, this Grand Pacific body and V-Class bracing have, from the start, given you this really kind of warm, rustic feel to it, a little bit different than the typical Taylor sound. It's not as bright and direct. It's really more of an open O sound that you get out of it. Um, and then they have changed the strings on the American Dream series, which continues here, to away from elixirs to Dar to Dario's. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a really good guitar. I love that, you know, a lot of, this is understand. I don't know why I get hung up on this stuff, but one of the things that's always gotten me on Taylor is that at a lower price, you can get a guitar with an inlaid, you know, mother of pearl logo, whereas a lot of other guitar companies at this price are like silk screening it on at this point. Yeah. Um, it's a little thing, but I, I don't know. I think it matters. And of course, this is an E version. So you get the uh -huh. ES2 pickup system, which is a fantastic, by the way, I did a recent video talking about how to dial this in. Uh, and really the video is specific to the ES2, but deals with things that are applicable to every kind of acoustic electric pickup for the most part. So if you haven't, uh, check that out. So. so tell me a little bit about the nut width and the neck carve. Is it a normal standard Taylor one and three quarter inch? I believe so. It's, uh, I think all of their American stuff's one and three quarter. So, the reason I ask, someone who played this one today, after playing five other guitars, 
it just kind of stood out to me. The neck's really comfortable. Radius is really nice. I, I don't know if it's just because it's the only Taylor we played, but it's worth kind of noting super comfortable and just a good feel, you know? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, to me, it's, it's kind of like, in my mind, I call it the T5Z effect. And mm. I say that because a T5Z is strung with 11s. It has the exact same scale length as a Les Paul. And those 11s feel so slinky that it doesn't make sense. You know, if you play enough guitars, you kind of know this string gauge, this scale length tuned to this pitch feels like X. Mm -hmm. um, and that that doesn't happen with the T5Z. I felt the same thing when I played this guitar today. I, it felt fast. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think it really just comes down to Taylor dialing in the setup. And a lot of that comes to how Taylor puts their neck on. You know, a lot of people probably take it for granted if you've known about Taylor's neck construction. But the NT neck, which first came into production in 2000, so it's 22 years old at this point, allows Taylor to bolt this neck on and fine-tune it with shims into you know, two thousandths of an inch. And so, one, over the time, the guitar is not going to kind of fold in on itself and be unplayable and require a very expensive neck reset. Um, if that ever happens, it's it can be done in five minutes. Um, but... The other benefit really is straight out of the box, the geometry is correct. Yeah. And that plays a, a huge part of it. So, yeah, the, I mean, the setup's just impeccable. Yep. Let's so, hear it. Yeah, let's check it out.
Well, so there you have it. Taylor's limited edition AD17E red top. Now this is the first one we've received of several mm -hmm. limited edition Taylors that are coming down the pike, which is why you should subscribe to this channel. Because Cooper, do you want to give them a little taste of what's to come in addition to this? Yeah, you know, you probably heard about it on podcast. If you're subscribed, you're listening. But while I really like this guitar, it should be said, this is the one that I was the least excited for. I was already excited for it, but the other ones that are coming, I'm like, I'm so ready to go on these. Um, I won't give too many details because I just want to reveal and for you to see them, but there's a really cool T5Z uh, with a beautiful quilt top. There's an Alcoa 12 string. There is a limited sort of reimagining of the 500 series and a 514 CE. And uh, probably the, the one that I'm probably most excited yeah. for. I love the GT811E, and there's a choice top wood coming down on that one. Spoiler alert, it's not a red top. It no. is sinker redwood. Um, sinker redwood, yeah. rosewood back and sides, and then 811. Yeah, nice. so the, the stuff that they showed us this year at the NAMM show, I was incredibly excited to play, and now we know that we're going to get some really cool stuff. You're going to like them. We're going to make videos on all of them. So. So there's only so many of these. There's only so many of the others. So the public service announcement I always give with limited editions is if you're watching this video and you're interested, you want to act on that interest as soon as possible. You know, if you watch this video, if it pops up, you know, if you've watched this six months later, I'm glad you've, you've watched. I hope you subscribe to our channel. But these guitars are probably gone. Um, at least, you know, from us. So that's that's just kind of the public service announcement. It's also one of the reasons I wanted to bring up the other guitars that are coming. We plan to do videos as soon as those hit our dock. But if you're interested in one of those, you should act on it. If you, you know, you can kind of pre-order a guitar like that from us. So if you want one of those super limited, you know, Seeker Redwood Top GT811Es, just go on our website, chat with someone, or give us a call and say, yeah, I, I'm putting my name down yeah. for one of those guitars. Or the 514 with the cedar top is going to be, I may just, I may just play that. It's uh, Blackwood and Cedar. Yeah, super figured Blackwood. Yeah, too. and I'm, I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of Cedar and, and Mahogany, and I know what Blackwood has characteristically. I, I'm, I'm going to like that guitar. Yeah. So very, very cool stuff. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe. Um, and, and you know, again, put your name in the hat if you're ready. Uh, I don't remember how many of these we got on the 80, of, of all five of these guitars, we will get different quantities, but they're all less than 10. Yep. Yeah. And I think this one's maybe in the six or seven range, something like that, but we'll let you know. And affordable. An affordable, very great playing, great sounding, cool looking, you know, play on the 8017E. So... If you're interested, go to our website, it's alamomusic.com. But remember, at the end of the day, the best guitar in the world is... It's the one that you're playing. There you go. That's very Mr. Rogers for you, but that's how I feel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to our notifications, like our videos, and we'll see you next time.